back to the video. We've got some errands to run today, so you're going to come along with me while we do that. We're going to Durham, so should be good. The weather outside, it's okay. It's it's going to get better. I'll, I'll show you in a sec. Um, but yeah, we're going to do a quick sort of statue and bridge tour as well. So, what well, is some historic, historic, I hate that word, some historic information about them as well. But not all the statues and not all the bridges. If you want us to do a more in depth, historic, I hate that word, of Durham, leave it in the comments. Also, guys, you're doing fantastic. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment on the videos. It really does help out the channel. I really want to get to 200 subscribers soon and then just go beyond that. Um, but yeah, firstly, porridge, then we're off. So, come on guys, let's go. Woo! Looking a bit grim. Apparently it's gonna pick up. How's the job going, Mum? Fine. Oh, well, we need a bit more answering. You said it's different, yes? Well, yeah. Very different because I've never worked for five months. There we are. Furlough. It's changed. So that's the answer. <laughs> so, you know. Just a quick update on my mum's old new job. Works in the kitchen. you ever come here you should definitely read these they're very in-depth also look it's the Wharton Park Yay. I remember having the outside gym in Canada when I visited there so cool they have them here I'm getting so good at walking away from the camera, guys. So good. This is Edward Wharton. He used to own the park before he gave it to the local community of Durham. Are you ready for basically the best view in the whole of Durham? not the best day for it but I think it's still the best view so yeah over here is Durham Cathedral we'll do that another day I'd love to do that in its own video this view is so much better when it's sunny and clear but you can see the whole of Durham here it's so bright And this leads down to the train station. Castle, or if you want to go to Scotland. And then if you go on to Manchester, York, or London, you go this way. Many a times I have been this way. Is that the time?
We aren't actually going this way, but this is one of the bridges that connects the church to the other side of the road. This building right here is being mended at the moment. It's gonna be another cinema. Down here is a hotel and over here is where the gym is. And yeah, so great, great view. There is also a hotel just over here. The chat who really likes going for a night out or for food. I will show you later on my favorite place to go and eat in Durham, but it's not here. But if you want to come for a good time, there's a few places here I think you would like. At the top we have Fat Buddha, and then Nando's, and then Ask Italian. Down here it says the Bishop Milk. This is actually Weatherspoons. We have two Weatherspoons in Durham. And then over here, the bar and the rooms is if you want to go dancing or things like that. I went in here a couple of times. It's good, it's good. And over here is the Smuggle Letters. I came here when it was Halloween and they did an amazing alcoholic drink. So if you ever want to go there. We have over here, we have a, the library, a uh, great place. There's a little cafe just over here. And then over here is the gala. At the moment, because of COVID, uh, it's shut down, so it's getting re it's getting getting renovated. It's getting renovated. So yeah. But anyway, also the gala is where you go for cinemas, and also if you know the tradition of the British pantomime. He's behind you. This is a pretty recent statue within my time. This is of six monks taking a coffin that had the body of Sid Cuthbert inside. It was strange because they found the body and it was still intact. And because of this, they thought it was a miracle and they decided to make Cuthbert a saint. This is known as Prince Bishop. I think the umbrellas are here because of the LVT community in support of them. They look so awesome, don't they? This is Elvet Bridge. It's a medieval arc bridge that crosses the River Weir in Durham. Down here, you can actually rent these boats out. I've been on two or three times and every time it always ends in disaster. So if you follow this road all the way up, you come to the cathedral. Also, there's some interesting shops as well. So definitely have a look there. So this is known as the marketplace in the old days the local villagers and the people who live there would come here and sell their products here. So, interesting stuff. The marketplace is great. On a Saturday, there's an outdoor market that comes here. Loads of different shops. There's also, during the week, an indoor market. They're all the time. You should definitely pop in there. They sell so many different things, from fossils to pizzas. This statue symbolizes the penultimate of the crossfire in Korea in 1953. It cost around 75,000 pounds to design and make. This is the Neptune statue. It was given in 1729 by George Bowers of Gibside. The statue used to stand upon the water supply in Durham. Not anymore though. Also, side note, he keeps getting knocked over by cars. <laughs> this is Mark Hughes of Lunderry. His full name was Charles William Vane Tempest Stewart. He was born in 1778. 
fought in many famous wars. That is why he is shown riding his horse. In Days Gone, the statue used to face a different way. It used to be over here, and it used to face the opposite way, towards the cathedral, which is this way. But for some reason, it doesn't anymore. Now I have some packages to post, so bear with me. I'm addicted to Cadbury's dark chocolate. Only on Saturdays and Sundays though, you should try it. I also need to pick up two cards for my mum as there are two people leaving her workplace. So let's do that now. And also I need to pick up a birthday card. This one looks good. How cool do these streets look? I love cobbled streets. They look so cool. They have some in York. I also like these little alleyways, but all I can think of is York now. This bridge I'm walking over is Framalgate Bridge. It was finished construction in 15th century. This is the bridge that we crossed over before, guys. Cathedral. It was built in 1093 and also some of the Harry Potters were filmed in it. This is Durham Castle. It's been occupied by the people of the college since 1837. It definitely looks like somewhere Harry Potter was filmed, don't you think? If you ever come to Durham, down here is a buffet place, my favourite place to eat. I definitely need to go here again. The reflections are so cool. This is known as the food pit. There's lots of different indoor food places to eat. I'm so lucky to have a place like this close to me. The views are outstanding. So this is our second cinema. Yes, second, the audience. We actually have a third cinema coming. Can you believe it? Well, I have an interview in a couple of days' time, and I'm not sure which one I should pick. I'll buy them both, I guess. And here is our second weather spoons. This bridge is known as the Viaduct. A lot of trains go over this. I'm really trying to stay healthy, guys. Really trying. And this is our bus station. It's going to be demolished soon and there will be a new place, but for now. So there are two buses that go to Eshwing. There's the 52 that I am on and there's the 43. The one I'm on is more of the scenic bus. It takes longer, but I think it's so much better. <laughs> If you liked the video, remember to subscribe and comment and leave a like, please. It always helps out. Um, before you go, um, four days from today when you're watching this, um, timelines and stuff like that, I am having an interview. So wish me luck. I hope everything goes well. I'll update you if everything goes well. Um, but guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!